Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Leap of the Week. It's me, Sarah, and I'm just hanging out here on the floor because it's part three of our series on ankle and foot mobility. And uh, I wanted to do a piece about this, and then I, uh, right before I was coming over here to shoot, I saw an abstract of a, st a study that my friend Trina posted on Facebook, and I um, went and read the study, and it was really interesting. And I was like, oh, I want to th throw that into the mix. So uh, the study was about plantar fasciitis. And I think for, it's a pretty common uh, thing that people are dealing with. And the really standard protocol is to stretch. Stretch the bottom of your foot, stretch your calf, um, you know, roll it on a ball, roll it on some ice. There's all sorts of kind of... Um, uh, releasing or just kind of passive techniques uh, that are pretty standard for treatment. But what this study looked at, and I thought it was really interesting, is instead of stretching and stretching and stretching, what happens if you actually strengthen your foot? How does that work? So uh, this was uh, in 2014, so not too long ago, and they compared a group of people stretching their feet versus a group of people strengthening their feet. And at the end of the study, they found that the people strengthening had better results. They had less symptoms of their plantar fasciitis. So I'm going to show you the exercise. And uh, even if you don't have plantar fasciitis, this is a heel raise that you, I promise you, have never done before. It's pretty, pretty exciting. So um, as you join me in this exercise. Okay, so to do this exercise, what you'll need is a block, and then you'll also need a small towel rolled up. The towel is going to go under your toes, so it's just the ball of my foot that's on the block. And the reason that you're set up like this is the lifting of the toes will help reinforce the lift of your arch as you do your heel raises. So um, I'm right up next to a wall, and I promise you that you also want to be right up next to the wall when you do this. You'll come up to balance, <laughs> if you can balance. And from here, it's just very, very slowly down and very, very slowly up. And even if you're someone who does a lot of these heel raises or calf raising exercises, it's actually surprisingly challenging to do it without the ability to grip with your toes. So that instead, we're really helping um, some of those muscles that create the arch uh, to lift and do their job here. And holy moly, when I tell you that, I don't know what that was, four or three, uh, these are starting to get more and more challenging, folks. So I, uh, as always, it's the ones that you don't like that you probably need to do more of, right? So try those out. Let me know what you think. Comments below. And as always, thank you for watching, and goodbye.